Hello and welcome back to school after what I hope has been a really lovely holiday for you all. I had hoped that we would be able to meet together in a whole school assembly, but uh, I think it's perhaps a little early for that. So I've decided to record my first assembly for this week and I hope you enjoy it. Let's begin in our usual way with our liturgy. In the beginning, when God created all things, he said, let there be light. And there was light. Let your light shine. God is light and in him there is no darkness. Let your light shine. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Let your light shine. Well, my assembly today is called Attitude and Ambition. I've got some uh, pictures here, some, some uh, captions that I thought were quite, uh, summed up really what I wanted to say. I like this one, be awesome, be amazing, be you. It's also quite special. I wonder what you think of this one. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. That's by Anne Frank. Some of you, especially in year six, will learn more about Anne Frank. What an amazing person she was. And how her life made such a difference to those around her and, and for, for the future. And this one, there is nothing in a caterpillar that tells you it's going to be a butterfly. Those are all trying to sum up in some way uh, the attitude that we can have about uh, achieving and achieving in this year as we meet together again and, uh, and look forward to, to learning and growing together. I wonder if any of you had the chance to watch the Olympics over the holiday. There were some amazing achievements there with people getting bronze and silver and gold medals and people just doing better than they'd ever expected. Those athletes, some of them were achieving way above the odds. I've got pictures of uh, some of the athletes who, who just achieved that success against all the odds, against all expectations. I've got a picture here of Matthew Richards. He was in the freestyle relay, 200 meters, here he is here. And he got a gold medal. But look at him, he's practicing his swimming in a very large paddling pool in his garden. He's attached by a bungee and uh, he's swimming. That's the only way he can practice his swimming because the swimming pools were all closed. And yet he didn't let that get him down or be a barrier to what he wanted to achieve. There was another swimmer who had two bouts of COVID illness, um, could hardly breathe and yet went on and got a gold medal. I loved watching uh, this person, Sky Brown. She achieved a bronze in skateboarding. She's only 12, just a month before her 13th birthday there. And uh, when she was 11, she had a really bad accident on her skateboard. She was, uh, she was skating very high up and uh, she just lost her balance. And she fell to the ground and she broke her wrist and her arm hand and she cracked her skull and uh, there's a, a video you can have uh, you can see of her from her hospital bed where she's just saying don't worry about me I'm okay but uh, just get on and do what you can and I'm going to do what I can and she went on she she got back on her skateboard 
uh, I think probably I'd have been too scared, but uh, she got back on and she uh, went into the Olympics. And the first two uh, skateboard rounds that she did, she, she made mistakes and again, she, she came off. But in her third one, she nailed it. And she got that bronze medal. Amazing story. And then someone else who had success against all the odds. This is Beth Shriver. And she won a gold in the BMX. Her story isn't quite the same as the others. She was a teaching assistant and uh, she, uh, she got some success, but then the funding was only allowed for the male competitors in BMX. There was no funding for the female. And so she had to carry on working as a teaching assistant and she did crowdfunding in order to raise money so that she could train for the Olympics. And look, she got a gold medal. It's brilliant. All these people who, who just decided that they were going to go for it, whatever. Might be worth asking your teachers if they could show you the, uh, the videos of them doing their activities and achieving. I'm sure that they might be able to find some time. Sometimes we don't think we're up to much. And uh, I love this picture. This, um, this from the um, Charles Mackey, Mackey book. Um, it says, sometimes I think you believe in me more than I do, said the boy. You'll catch up, said the horse. At Windsor, we want to help you to be everything that you want to be. Let me say that again. We want to help you to be everything that you want to be. And we're committed to that end this year. Committed to help you let your light shine. Let's talk a little bit about seeds. Inside every seed is the potential for an incredible harvest. I don't know what these seeds are, but they would grow, inevitably grow, into something which is just wonderful. I've got a picture here of a harvest. We'll be having harvest soon. So inside every seed is that potential for an incredible harvest. Obviously, it needs the right conditions. And some of you will learn about those this year. But that great potential is in each one of us as well. It's as if we are also a seed. Jesus talked about this in the parable of the sower. It's something I want to share with you. He told quite a few stories about seeds, but in this one, he explained about a farmer who was sowing seeds in his field. And the story describes how the, how the seeds fell on different ground. You may remember this story from last year. Each seed had a different experience. I want us to have the opportunity to see this little video to tell, that tells the story about what happened to each of those seeds. I'm just going to to move on to that now.
I wonder. Wonder what different types of soil there were there and what different experiences those seeds had. Maybe share with your teacher now what you can remember. Now this was a parable and a parable is the name that's given to a story that Jesus told to illustrate an important message or a difficult lesson. And the parable of the sower was used to explain what different people might do with an important piece of advice that was given them. The message about how we might act and think in response to advice that's given to us. The different places that that seed fell are the different ways in which people might act on the advice that they're given. So every piece of advice that we're given it's like a little seed. We need to do something with that advice. Got another two pictures from the Charles Mackey books that I like. One of them says, one of, your, one of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things. Thinking again about that advice that we're given and how we react to it. Another one here, asking for help, isn't giving up, said the horse, it's refusing to give up. You know, we might um, ask for help, it might be how we respond to some advice. And uh, it's not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. It's refusing to give up and recognising that we are going to need the encouragement or the help of others around us sometimes to achieve what we want to do. Remember what I said earlier on. Sometimes I think you believe in me more than I do, said the boy. You'll catch up, said the horse. And I said we wanted to help you to be everything that you want to be and to let your light shine. So at the beginning of our school year, there's going to be many little seeds that uh, your teachers and other people can give you to help you to grow, to help you to be that person that you want to be and to get that success that you want. School is going to provide you with many seeds today and throughout the year. I wonder what those seeds might be. Have a think. It's really important that our attitude is the right one. We've got that growth mindset and that positivity so that we get the most out of the school seeds that are sown throughout this year. Let's think a little bit about our motto, our school vision, if you like, let your light shine. That also contains seeds that we want to grow in the life of our school. It's not just about how we shine, but it's how our school shines as we try to live out those values that we have in our choices and the way we work together. So it's not just about us as individuals, but it's about our school community together time to reflect. I wonder what are some of the seeds that we'll receive at school today? And I wonder what type of ground you want to be. Are you going to be rocky soil? Or are you going to be that good earth where you can put your roots down and uh, be watered, receive that advice and grow into beautiful strong plants. Let's say a prayer together. If you want to join with me, then say amen at the end, but uh, let's just bow our heads and be quiet and think. Dear God, it's important at this time of year that we think about what we want to achieve this year at school. 
help us to become the type of person that will enable those good seeds we receive at school to become all that they can be. Amen. Let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And so we go in the light and peace of Jesus, in the name of Christ. Amen. I hope you have a really good first day back at school. And I look forward to seeing some of you in the playground and around. Have a great day. <laughs>